In Home Designer, we can generate automatic interior dimensions either for a selected room or a group of rooms. In this video, we will discuss how dimension defaults affect automatic dimensions, specifically interior dimensions, how to generate automatic interior dimensions using the dedicated Edit tool, and how to edit individual dimension lines after they have been created. Let's start by opening our Default Settings dialog. This can be done by navigating to Edit, Default Settings from the menu, or by clicking on the wrench icon located in the toolbar. In the Default Settings dialog, click on the Dimension category to select it, then click the Edit button. In Home Designer Architectural and Home Designer Suite, the Locate settings on the Setup panel apply to manual and exterior dimensions only. Automatic interior dimensions will always reference the interior wall surface when created. The settings located on the Format, Arrow, and Text Style panels apply to all dimensions, including automatic interior dimensions. In Home Designer Pro, you may notice that separate settings can be specified for automatic interior, exterior, and the various types of manual dimensions. For now, we will simply click OK without making any changes, then click Done to close out of the default settings window. Let's go ahead and generate automatic interior dimensions in this plan that we have open. First, make sure that the Select Objects tool is active, then click inside of a room to highlight it. On the Edit toolbar that is located in the bottom left-hand corner of the program, locate and click on the Auto Interior Dimension Edit tool. Notice that interior dimension lines have populated for the selected room. You can perform this process on as many rooms as you would like, and can even group select multiple rooms and generate automatic dimensions for them all at once. To do this, hold down the Shift key on the keyboard, click in each room that you would like dimensions for, then click on the Auto Interior Dimension Edit tool once again to generate automatic interior dimensions for all of the selected rooms. Let's take a look at this particular dimension line. We can see that it's picking up the interior surface of the wall, which is drywall in this case. The program will always draw the dimensions offset from the wall. But once they're drawn, we're free to move them, and we're free to edit them. For example, we may want to locate both sides of this opening. To do this, we can use the Add Extension Line Edit handle. This is a diamond-shaped handle that appears next to the square Move Edit handle when a dimension line is selected. Left-click and drag the diamond-shaped handle and move it to one side of the opening. Notice how the dimension line updates. You can create as many extensions as you'd like using this process. We can also move extensions. Let's move one of the side extensions to the center of the opening. To remove extensions, drag the diamond handle associated with an extension away from the object it's locating, then release the left mouse button. Like other objects in Home Designer, dimensions can be deleted by selecting them and either clicking on the Delete Edit tool or selecting the Delete key on your keyboard. You can see just how quick and easy it is to generate automatic dimensions in Home Designer and edit them further to your liking.